The Drive with Tim Donnelly here on 99.9 The Fan, live from ACC tip-off in Charlotte. Uh, we are now talking with Jalen Blakes, graduate student guard for Stanford, after spending the early part of his uh, his career at Duke in, in Durham. Uh, I, I guess I'll ask first, what are you telling your teammates about the ACC, right? They're, they're all new to this, this conference. You've been here for a while. Yeah, I mean, the ACC is just filled with greatness. Mm -hmm. I mean, in my three years there, we've always had an ACC team in the Final Four, which just speaks about how good this conference really is. And, you know, we have guys that have come from a multitude of different conferences on our team. But for me, it's just understanding that every every day, every night is going to be a fight and every game is going to be a battle. So you have to come in with the right mindset and just you have to give the ACC its respect because it's the best conference in basketball. I, I agree with you on that. Do you have, uh, you know, obviously those those final four teams, you were on one of them. Do you, do you have February 15th circled on your, your calendar? I think I have every game circled on my calendar. All right. I think that game may have an additional. Uh, I have I have some friends that may uh -huh. I know at that school, but every game is circled. I'm excited for this season. You know, it's my final college basketball season, so every game is one of my last something. So it's going to be fun. You bring up it's your your last season. We're talking with Jalen Blake's former Duke guard, now with uh, Stanford as they join the ACC. Uh, what were you looking for in the portal? It's your last year. Every every day is is a last something. How did you choose Stanford as the team that you wanted to spend those lasts with? Yeah, it was definitely a tough decision. Um, entering the portal is something, you know, that is new uh, mm -hmm. for a lot of people. It was new for me. But, you know, this last year I was looking for something that was going to give me everything that I was about, you know, just being surrounded by greatness once again. Uh, being a part of this great conference is something that Stanford offered. But also Coach Smith outlined a vision for this program and outlined a vision for myself implemented in this program. And, you know, I trusted him. I trust what he's doing now. And I'm very glad I made this decision. But, you know, grateful for what Duke has done for me in these past three years. What do you miss most about, about Durham or, or the Triangle or something that maybe you can't get out in Cali? I would say cookout. Okay. Cookout is definitely something I, I miss a lot. Um, <laughs> you know, I shouldn't be saying that. I'm an athlete <laughs> to fast food spots. But cookout for sure. And, you know, maybe at Waffle House a little bit, you know. They don't have Waffle House in California? I, I haven't seen it in Palo oh, okay. Alto, but, you know, it's just I, – I do enjoy in and out though, in Cali, for mm -hmm. sure. So <laughs> it balances out. Pros and cons. <laughs> um, I was looking back at, at your recruiting class at, at Duke, and um, your classmate uh, in that class was was A.J. Griffin, who, who just gave up basketball uh, after being a first-round pick, still had years left on his NBA contract to, to become a minister. Were you surprised to hear that? You know, AJ was my roommate, mm -hmm. and I'm extremely happy for him. You know, he has a great talent in basketball, but he has a bigger calling. And for a lot of us, you know, we don't really understand that. But, you know, his faith was something that was very important to him. And for him to be able to understand his purpose is bigger than basketball and he has a bigger purpose in life, it's truly special. And I'm extremely happy for him. And, and another name that most people recognize from that class is, is Paolo Boncaro. Or, or, I guess, a similar question. Are you surprised by the, the success he's had at the NBA level? Not one bit. I mean, from the first moment um, I was at Duke, we came in the summer early and you can just tell just his preparation, his work ethic, you know, that he was destined to do great things in the NBA. And I'm just extremely happy for him as well. And, and now you're at Stanford. So uh, so give us the scouting report on, on, on Stanford as you know, we're getting to know this program as, as uh, you know, we've always watched them after the ACC games are done. Then Stanford comes on and, you know, you watch it till you fall asleep. Uh you have, you have Raynaud, who's, who's walking around with you, a seven-footer. What else are you bringing back with you to the ACC from a team perspective? Yeah, I mean, I think we're going to surprise a lot of people. Uh, we have a great group of guys who stayed. We call them the Hexanal, uh, the six the six guys who stayed. And that is a very Stanford yeah. nickname. Yeah, the, the fact Hexanal. that you are using geometry <laughs> to nickname a group of players, that is extremely Stanford and on brand. Yeah, so we got the Hexanal, but then we also have a group of <laughs> nine guys, you know, I think believe five transfers and four freshmen who are all eager and have a chip on our shoulder. And I think Coach Smith has done a great job of, you know, implementing a family aspect where we've built chemistry really quickly. And I think in terms of the skill sets that we all bring, I think we are a group that can shoot the ball really well, extremely unselfish. And um, when you're unselfish, you're able to do the little things without worrying about the bigger things. So I think we're all willing to do the little things. And I think we'll shock a lot of people just because of how together we are, our ability to shoot the ball and our ability to defend. What's it going to be like when you? Uh, I don't. You may, may have already happened when you bump into to Tyrese Proctor or Caleb Foster around here. 
Yeah, it definitely happened uh, before I came down here. And, you know, it's all good vibes. You know, those are my brothers. You know, I played with them, played with Tyrese for two years, mm -hmm. Caleb for a year, and we went through a lot of wars together. So it was great seeing them. Uh, Jalen, it was great, great talking to you. Thank you for uh, stopping by, and good luck this season. Appreciate you having me. Thank you.